Hey Libra, welcome to your reading for September 2016. I've already laid out the cards. We're doing a three card spread. I'm not doing any particular order or outcome or anything like that. Uh, I find a lot of times that as I read, because energies flow, you know, sometimes the way that the cards are laid out, I guess unless I specifically ask, and I didn't for, you know, a particular set of, uh, um, or a particular chronological um, setup, that it, it does come out that way. But I haven't been asking for past, present, and future. I've just only uh, inquired about the overall energies for the month of September. Um, so we will approach it that way. So to get started, the first that we have is the Nine of Wands reversed. We have the Palace of Swords. And for those of you who have been experiencing Tarot for a while, if you read Tarot, if you're not familiar, this is the Tarot of Dreams deck by Sirio Marchetti. And he introduces <clears throat> the palace cards. There's a palace card for each seat. And this is generally about, um, uh, this can be about a physical place. This could be about uh, a dwelling and an atmosphere that you create in your dwelling. Or this could be, um, in the case of the Palace of Swords, about a mental place. And the last card is the Five of Cups. So Libra, the way I see this is that something is going on with you. Um, you with the Nine of Wands reversed. Nines are about things that are coming to an end. And in this case, if the Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, if the Nine of Wands was upright, this would be about some journey, some adventure, some battle, some, um, some situation that, that required actual movement, uh, that required some sort of energy, whether it's creative energy, whether it's, you know, physical energy, but this required the flow of energy and with nines being about things coming to conclusion wrapping up and things like that this would generally be about the something that is coming to its end but in reverse in the reverse um, what should be wrapping up what should be ending is not Libra the nine of wands often says to me that when it appears that somebody is creating a prison for themselves and in this case Libra that's you there's uh you're feeling defenseless about something therefore you 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 don't feel ready to to fight or you don't feel strong enough to take the action that you need to take Upright, you know, this looks like he has had several battles and they are all behind him now. And he has planted a wand for each ballot, uh, for each battle that he's fought, for each journey that he's taken, for each venture that he's come through for each project that he's completed, whatever the case may be, wherever he has put, whatever he's put his actions towards, he has planted his flag, or in this case, his wand. Well, reversed, you probably weren't able to finish these battles, to, to plant these flags Libra because you're not feeling strong there is some panic there's some anxiety 
there's some fear and it's causing you to not be able to bring this situation whatever it is to an end because you you feel probably you know a little weak timid defenseless in regards to something now with this palace of swords I feel like that this maybe you wish this is where you could be the palace of swords is what I like to call penthouse status and maybe you wish that you were somewhere nicer than where you are because if you look at these cards I'm going to turn him up right just so you can see. He looks like he's, you know, maybe in a dark, dank basement, in a cellar, and some, you know, somewhere underground, maybe. But here, this sort of looks like, you know, it's fantasy land almost. It's a looks like a very mystical, magical place to be celebrity status again I mean this is the good stuff and Libra I feel like you maybe maybe this is where you wish you were maybe this was the environment that you wished to create but you're unable to do that because you are feeling weak or defenseless about something and I think before I'm gonna go back to the page of swords so actually let me say this the other thing is that you need to come to a place of clarity and the nine of wands reversed is keeping you from doing that you are uh, blocking yourself from being able to uh, rise above the mental fall the brain fall there's an ability here for you to do that you're being asked to do that but for whatever reason, you're being blocked, I feel like, from that. I also feel like this is a, I feel like this is a card of scrutiny, of judgment. You feel like you're being scrutinized or judged by somebody. You feel like you're under the microscope about something. Um, I also feel like this is a card of clairvoyance. There may be some things that are coming to you, Libra, that you need to recognize. And just because they seem, these messages seem to be coming from somewhere that might be strange to you, this might be, you know, some type of supernatural feel to this. This is intuitive things. This is, uh, I'm sorry, I kind of need to turn that a little bit. when I talk about this card in the case of clairvoyance you know I feel like these are messages that are there but you they're they are at such a high level of vibration they are coming from such a place of higher consciousness that you're actually blocking yourself from seeing them or for, from accept before I'm sorry you're blocking yourself from accepting them and by doing that you're unable to get out of the prison that you're in now I feel like this is because of the five of cups as well you are crying over spilled milk maybe this is an emotional situation that didn't where you feel that didn't quite work out for you fives are about conflict you know kind of fighting uh, in this case, I feel like this is about emotional conflict. I know this is about emotional conflict because as you can see, there are there are three spilled cups. I don't know really how to make you see that better. But these are cups and they are spilled over. And you can see the young lady who just appears to be in despair. And she's looking. I'm trying to really get you to see that. And I need to adjust the lighting in here too. But she's looking at the cups like, oh my goodness gracious, what happened? What went wrong? Look at what I lost. Look at what I don't have anymore. 
and she's not realizing that there are two full cups, chalices, whatever you wish to call them, behind her. She doesn't know what they contain, but they're full. She doesn't even know that they're there because her back is towards them and she's too busy worrying. She's too busy focused on the cups that have spilled over. So, what I'm feeling like, Libra, is that There's been something that has is causing you emotional discord. And within that emotional discord, you are you, there's anxiety. You're feeling scared and defenseless and unable to move forward. You're unable to get to the bigger mental picture. You're unable to transcend above the mental fall you are unable to come out of the mental and emotional funk because of this emotional situation now the five of cups operates like mars and scorpio mars doesn't really like to be in scorpio me personally though I think it works I think you become a little dark and obsessive about things but Scorpio is so hell-bent on getting things done or, or, or getting what they want or getting to the bottom of something if it's something that you need to you know come to a conclusion about that you need to get to the bottom to that you need to get the truth about or just you need to be steady Betty I feel like Mars and Scorpio is very consistent persistent but it could be to the point of obsession now you could be obsessing about what you've lost or I want to say this could be about you know maybe an obsessive relationship that you're in where somebody could be obsessed with you and you feel like you're in some sort of prison you feel like you're in some type of never ending battle and you are fearful you feel helpless now this could very well be the case the only reason that I feel that that is not the case is because there are no court cards here. I don't see somebody that is coming into or that is in your life that are causing you these problems. Libra, I feel like this is really about you. And I, I really kind of wanted to let you off the hook. Well, not that that's letting anybody off the hook. But, you know, I really kind of wanted to say that this may be something that, you know, a prison that somebody is helping you to create. But since there are no court cards here, I got to say, Libra, for the most part, I am going to stick to this being about you and your emotions and you not being able to see what's coming to you because you're so busy looking at what has you know what you've lost in front of you you're not letting with with the 9 of wands reverse operating under the energies of moon and Sagittarius you're not allowing yourself to emotionally or you're not allowing yourself to you're not allow, allowing your soul to grow you're not allowing your self to expand and to journey on and to move forward and to satisfy your soul desires because 
you're emotionally stuck in something and it's not giving you the ability to see the bigger picture it's not giving you the ability or it's you're, it, it's causing you to block yourself from the higher meaning I think the palace of swords is asking you to step out of your emotions and use your head this time this is a situation where you really really need to be sharp and use your head you could be being scrutinized about something too I feel like the palace of swords if I hadn't said that before is about some sort of scrutiny some type of heavy judgment and whatever it is it's got you feeling insecure where you cannot move forward you are not satisfying your soul's desire because you are so emotionally focused on things that you've lost on the things that you don't have anymore well Libra there are things that are coming to you if you just look up and look back look behind you surprise so To wrap this up, I just feel like this is about you obsessing over something that you don't have anymore. And you're emotionally tied to that something. You need to step out of your emotion and use your brain. Pay attention to the messages and the visions that you may be getting. Pay attention to your dreams as well. I mean, because if we look at this again, this looks like fantasy. This looks like a dream state. And since I feel like this is a card of clairvoyance and premonition, um, I feel like you should pay attention to that. you got to allow yourself to, though. You've got to get yourself to a place of where you're feeling strong. And where you can use your energies to plant your flags, to plant your wands. You need to win these battles. I feel like that these probably are battles or projects or tasks or, or, or situations that you need to wrap up. They all seem to be pending. You've got so much going on. You've left a lot of things undone, and that's causing you stress. You're emotionally tied to this stress. It's making you emotional. It's making you unable to think. But if if you if you if you stop obsessing over this, what I'm saying is Libra is that you can get here. You can get to. Um, this higher consciousness, this mental clarity. If you get your actions right, if this is somewhere you're trying to go, if this is something you did, you know, an atmosphere that you're trying to create. The only way you're going to be able to do that is to stop obsessing over what you don't have anymore. Love is out there, if this is about love, Libra. But, my gosh, you are so focused on what is lost and what you don't have anymore that it can't even be offered to you. See, if this was the Four of Cups, in the Four of Cups, generally there is something that is being offered to you, but you don't see it, but it's still being offered. With the Five of Cups, it, it can't even be offered to you. It's behind. You don't even see it. With the Four of Cups, you could just be refusing to see it, but you know it's there. You don't even know that this uh, emotional opportunity, connection, whatever this is, you don't even know that that's there, Libra. So you got to come out of this funk.
and you got to get moving again. You got to wrap up all of the loose ends that you have in order to live out your fantasies, in order to fulfill your soul purpose, to satisfy your soul, to get your vitality back up, to get your energy back up. Yeah, you're low your low energy here just kind of not feeling it and it's all it's all due to this emotional hang up whatever it is that you're obsessing over okay so to wrap that up I want to do the numbers 9 and 5 is um, 14 and 1 plus 4 is 5 which again is about conflict it's about fights, you know, uneasiness, but it's also about thinking outside the box. It's about um, recreating yourself. You can recreate yourself. You just got to use your head to do it. You got to use your head to direct your actions you got to come out of emotion for a minute Libra and with the palace of swords Libra you're an air sign so this you know it shouldn't be hard for you to come into this place this is you know what Libras represent this is what air signs represent Libras represent communications uh, between generally you know it's it's generally one-on-one -on -one partnerships but it's you know it, it can be more than that but nonetheless the air signs are about intellect communication thought stuff like that so Libra you're an expert at that sort of thing so you being stuck here in the emotions I don't really think it's, it's working for you and Libra I really I can't and this is not for all Libras but for if we're just looking at the Libra energy just by itself, high energy is not necessarily something or a word that is used to describe you anyway. And I just feel like with whatever you have going on, it is making your energy that much lower. So uh, <clears throat> you got to find a way to stop obsessing over what it is you're obsessing over, okay? find a way to recreate yourself find a way to recreate your use of energies and you can do that by going into this environment of the palace of swords you can figure out how to you can think outside the box you can figure out how to recreate yourself you can figure out how to wrap up these issues and how to bring these battles or situations whatever to an end the things that have got you stressed out and panicky and anxious you can figure out how to um, remedy these things it's the emotion part that you need to leave out and I know I've said that over and over again but I can't stress that enough so I just want to see it on I think that is about it Libra so yeah, we will leave it there and you know, thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you guys again next month.